Well, that was very unsatisfactory of my microphone to do because I just started this game up. I didn't. We didn't even hit start yet. I was just pumped because I saw desert and I was like, I want to do desert. And then I was reading them all, but then I realized my mic was turned down really low. So I just, I'm gonna reread some of the things I was doing. We'll skip the agreement. <laughs> so there is three biomes. I was just busting. I made the best name right here, but now I don't know if I'm gonna remember it. Dim. Subby coke limp dim. <laughs> there we go. We'll go. That'll, that'll be the name of our factory, alright? Or whatever it is. The session name. So, there is some biomes here for this game. And I'm, I'm so excited to play this game. I am. I, I, there's been a few days here where I've just been having it rough. I didn't know what I wanted to play. I was just going back and forth. I spent 12 hours deleting and downloading files to try to edit this game to my own will. 12 hours straight, not even taking a break the whole time. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just turn it off and take a break and do it tomorrow. And I was like, no, no, I kept doing it. I kept doing it. I kept doing it. I kept doing it. And I just fell. I still couldn't figure it out. But I got super close. I actually learned a lot. So if I ever do it again, it's going to be good. So I'm actually happy I did that. Okay. Anyways. The grass fields. The first visible building location Fisset has found. Standing out because of its open and relatively flat fields, considering the distance between mining locations, building outposts, and or large transport lanes may be necessary eventually. The Rocky Desert. The textbook example of Facet's approved building locations with the balanced resource space and it was very close to the sea, making water an easy economy. The Northern Forest, a lush building location with many heights differences and few open areas, challenging controversial building and planning methods. Despite these challenges, it caught our eye due to the richness and resources. So it's jam-packed of resources, but it is super janky to build. All right. This one's full of water and has decent resources. This is just like a flat land, so it's going to be easy to build, a lot of area to work with. But then, there's the Dune Desert, which I just, I don't know why I'm feeling this pull towards the desert. I want to do the desert. My goodness, I can't read it. I can't read it. I'm trying here. Take four. Initially considered too risky, further investigation has convinced us that this area is viable for building. With its large open spaces and plentiful mining locations, foliage and water locations are rare and contained, making the initial power setups challenging. Now, the real question is... Which one of these is satisfactory? <laughs> the thing is, if we do the desert, am I going to be annoyed? Is it going to be annoying because it's only desert and it's not going to be colorful? It says recommended for advanced pioneers, but I, I always do the hardest ones first. Ideal for the first time pioneers. Subsible for first time pioneers. Good for more experienced pioneers. Recommended for advanced pioneer. Oh, but I want the desert. But maybe... Because I, I was coming into this fully convinced that I was going to do the desert. But then I, a thought appeared in my mind as I sat here and I procrastinated it to see if that's actually what I wanted to do. What if we do, like, one of these two right here for my first, like, series on this game, a scene about how far we can get. And then once we get down the road, or I feel like starting over because, like, a few things got a little iffy, we could jump into the Dune Desert. Or maybe I just do a series on every single map. <laughs> I don't think I want to play the game that much, but, uh... We'll see. What if I just close my eyes and I go, ah? Better yet, what if I get a random generated spin AI roll to tell me which map I should do? Okay, it basically is in the order. So, number one, the first place, meaning, you know, the open fields. Number four being the desert. Let's see what this gives me. The desert. Whichever one gets two guesses. Whichever one gets two... It got two guesses immediately! There's no way it goes in a fourth time. It wants me to do the desert! It wants me to do the desert! Oh wait, how hard is this AI want me to- I'm starting to think it only has one choice. Oh, 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 no, 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 okay. So, desert, 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 ocean. <laughs> desert. <laughs> I guess we're doing the desert. 
We're doing the desert. That was decided. What are the odds? What are the <laughs> Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, I cut my eye a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. What is this? Attention, Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer. All right. Face it, Incorporated. Face it. Okay. Face you just have to face it. Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish projects. Just face your fears. Just face it. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. I like this. This is giving me some Ratchet and Clink vibes. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. That's a lot of resource. Factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Wait a minute, like, what's that supposed- why is it so dark outside? In five, four, three, two, one. Planet fall procedure initialized. I feel like I should be saying something right now, but I'm just waiting for something to happen first. Why is everything on that side shaking, but not some of the stuff by me? This whole thing's shaking except for my seat. This thing has some good shocks in it, then. Is the whole ship like a shock? Whoa, that got bright real fast. Whoa, wait a minute. I want to go see that tree. There's water over there. We have to go over there. Easy, it just shows me where the water is. That's nice. I'll take it. Now, when do I get out? Ensure the integrity of your multi purpose exploration suit is at 100%. I'm so happy I chose the desert. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Oh, of course, I got a glitch where it wasn't in the hand all the way. Now, is there going to be footprints in the desert? Welcome to there is. Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. All I gotta say is I'm so happy I chose the desert. This is giving me Ark Survival Scorched Earth vibes. And assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. A third? No. Only one third survived? Introduction initialized. Those aren't good odds. Welcome to onboarding. Oh, I do like that. I do like them turned down a little bit. There's just something about graphics when they're... That's what I like about PCs. I can make the graphics look worse because I like it that way. <laughs> that's the funny part. I like them to a certain degree. Like, if I'm playing, like, an older game, I kind of like to buff them up. But if I'm playing a newer game, I like to turn them down. You know what I mean? And it's all tutorial messages and emails will be saved in the codex. Press zero to view the codex. Okay, inbox. Tutorials. Onboarding Cotex. It's important the fashion. Okay. I'm not even reading it at that point. I'm just saying da da. Please ensure you have your fix it incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop. It looks like there's an actual forest over there, which is kind of cool. According to fix it regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Maybe I should go over there to that. Is this just massive and you just choose your spawn location and I chose to spawn in the desert? But if I go over there, I can find the flatland somewhere? That'd be crazy. Now there is that, but I want to go explore the water and everything. Whoa. How do you want to go? You know what? You know what you want to go? Please yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Huh? Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all Come future objectives. Whatever the heck, I can't even describe it. Armadillo dog squirrel. Oh, I got it. 
Honestly, I thought that was gonna go sideways. I'm hunting animals. <laughs> that was a mistake. But let's mine some of this copper ore real quick. Oh my goodness. What is this animation? Is that really how you mine? <laughs> Whoops. Let's try to learn the basics of this game. So, F is the dismantled thing. This is my weapon. I don't know how to unequip it, but I think it's pretty good to keep it on. Um, tab does something. It opens my inventory. We already have a few items. Okay. Then there's Q. The hub. Oh, is this for building? Okay. Craft bench. Hub. And then there is... Is that O or D? I think it's O. Yes, it is. Okay, tutorials, recipes, and inbox. Then B... There's a flashlight, you can barely see it right there. H. Oh, holster. V. Oh, oh, oh. I'm looking up for the thing on the compass. <laughs> <That's on. laughs> I thought that was my mining utensil, so I just started tasering the side of it. All right. Oh, it's actually... Well, do you see how easy it is to grab this stuff? Yo! That is so satisfying. What? Am I the only... Am I, I can't be the only person who thought this was... This is cool. Yoink, 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 yoink. Oh my goodness, my arm is gonna hurt. I feel like I should make that a mouse button too. Okay. Fourth objective: build the hub. Okay, no. so it wants me to build to the hub. This objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution: ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. I just want all this wood. Maybe we just use water for generators and stuff? A blue slug? A blue power slug? This semi-slug seems to what? emit unfamiliar energy readings which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, so they're like skill points. It oh, there is that one. That one's pretty close. Heck, I could build my base right up here. On this ridge, or oh, this would be a nice area just to build anything I want, to be honest. Okay, let's see. To improve efficiency, the hub is best built near iron nodes. The hub could be found by pressing the Q button. Hub. Players in the way. Floor is too steep. Oh, oh no, that thing's gonna attack me, isn't it? Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. You hit me with that, and I have to end your bloodline. Ooh, I think right there, just with a little bit sideways like that, is kind of neat in this area. If I made a mistake, I'm sorry, but that's just what I think is good. Unlocked. Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective. Complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm liking it. Tier one, complete the hub. Okay, it requires 10 of those. We can make 10 of those. I just learned how to make some things. Next milestone, okay. Oh, tier, tier zero. Tier zero is a milestone. Oh, the hub. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Select milestone. Boom. Upgrade hub. So what do we get? What do we get? What, what's the saying? New building, new equipment, new Congratulations. upgrades. Congratulations. You have unlocked. Personal building storage. Workshop. Equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots, hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, 
Complete hub upgrade 2. Note. Portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. I just got a lot of information right there and it all registered perfectly. <laughs> Alright, so we got this. Take all, store all. Okay. We got some portable miners. Um, let's hit Q. That's probably how I find it. Production, craft bench, workbench. Okay, what is this? Equipment workshop, craft bench. I don't need neither of those. How do I build the portable miners? I would not know unless it's in here. Melter, power line, wire, cable. Okay, so I have to build the equipment workbench. I need two more of those one things. Um... I'm thinking maybe just right here, just a little garage on the outside should be fine. I kind of want to set this up like it was a moon base, but you just kind of set everything up just so you can have, have it going. There's no really system to it yet. Now this is where I can make my auto miner. Portable miner. I need one more of those. The Xeno Zapper. I already have a Xeno Zapper. Why would I need another Xeno Zapper? Is there durability? Xeno Zapper. Damage. One. What does this do? Xeno Zapper. Damage. One. Portable Miner. We need uh, one more of those things. Okay. I had just enough to make the Portable Miner, too. Yo, that's just how resources work out. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, key reminder, building can be dismantled without any loss of resources to enter dismantled mode. Press F. And is this thing good at what it does? Pick up miner, grab all. Oh, you already picked up a lot. Or you just had a bunch in you for some reason. I like that. We're going to have to load that thing up. Get as much iron. Can those ever go empty? I hope those can't ever go empty. Upgrade number two. Select milestone. 20 of this. Iron plates. 10. 10 iron wads. Okay, a bunch of wads. And iron plates. Is this solar? Oh my goodness, is this thing I built by copper? Oh my goodness, you see that galaxy out there? You know how cool it'd be if Earth was next to a galaxy like that? That's an interesting moon. I like how it's actually like a close moon object. In the sun. Okay, okay. Wait, the sun. I say let's just do a little adventuring to see which iron ore we prefer. So let's go over to this next one. There is this one right here in this little dip valley. I don't know how I feel about it. There is like a little shack. Oh my goodness. You see that massive thing right there? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, but I don't want to go anywhere near that thing. That thing just looks horrifying. <laughs> it's probably like the safest, most kind creature in the game. And I, I don't want to get anywhere close to it. Anywhere close to it. If there's no way for me to actually get up here normally, then I'm start I'll think that there's like something you have to build to like climb. Drop pod. Hard drive. Fast data analyze uh, savage its contents. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. A bunch of little silver parts down there too. Oh, can we look at that creature down there? Look at that thing. It came closer to me. You know it wants some smoke. There's waterfalls and stuff over there. We could head towards that forest down over there. 
I was building right over here because I wanted to be by some trees, but I don't even see the trees anymore that were over here. Oh, I see. Oh, it's that far away? I've made some serious ground. Okay, let's head down. Let's head down. Oh, oh, oh. I kind of want to say hi to it. Now that I'm this close, I kind of want to like give it a hug. Look at it. That thing needs a hug. Uh, there, yeah. Can I pick up any of this stuff? <gasps> Reinforced plates and stuff? Screws? Things that I don't even have yet? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy I chose that. Not enough space for it. Oh my goodness, I don't got enough space. I definitely want to remember this spot. It seems pretty good. Look at this, we'll be right next to these waterfalls. I feel like being close to this area is cool. Ooh, there's a planet right there. I really like the way the sky is on this game. We got some water with some, like, majestic beasts that don't move their legs when they move. Oh boy, I think this is it. And a sulfur deposit. And a bunch of cool stuff. I guess we're gonna see if you're friendly. Okay. I'll take it, I'll take it.